Combray Day traditionally sees an early start for the soldiers of Badger Squadron, but this year dawn also meant an operation to escort an IED clearance team. A few minutes earlier, the crews had been woken up with a blank firing version of the traditional gunfire. Wherever we are, you know, we do it. It's great. <laughs> We'd be out this time normally anyway, so it's not too bad. So that's it, it's good. We're gathered here today to celebrate the 93rd anniversary of Combray Day. Later in the day, the squadron took a break from ops to hold a brief service in the shelter of their armour on newly taken ground north of the Helmand River. Traditionally, it's the regiment's youngest soldier that reads Special Order Number 6. Tomorrow the tank corps will have the chance for which they have been waiting for many months, I propose leading the attack at the centre of the division. But it was only a brief respite, with the more pressing business of the day rapidly intervening. Right, uh, uh, very quickly... Uh... They may have traded their tanks for warthogs, but Combray Day is one tradition two RTR keep very much alive, wherever in the world they may be. Will Inglis, Forces News, Helmand Province.